Hi folks, David Fine from Keys Mods. I hold in my hand another tropical beauty, tropical rarity. This is Paragonia Lusca, the half blind sphinx. And it is a tough bug to find down in South Florida. They used to be listed as common in South Florida. Not in my experience. Uh, we found them at times with slight population explosions, but this typically is a very, very hard bug to find. But we are gonna show you a little bit about what it takes to find the half-blind sphinx down in South Florida and a little bit about what that bug's all about. So guys, we are, we you know, at Keys Moths, we are all about the education of the butterflies and moths of South Florida. and. And sometimes we use these scientifically pinned specimens to show you up close and personal examples of these bugs because nobody ever sees them. It's, I mean, it's a very, very rare occurrence. And that's why we take some of these specimens to help uh, with the education of the butterflies and moths of South Florida. And so uh, guys, if you wanna get more into the science of butterflies and moths in South Florida and the Southern United States, I'm gonna encourage you to join uh, an organization that I've been part of for over 20 years. It's the Southern Lepidopter Society. It's a great organization where, which focuses on the study of butterflies and moths of South, Southern United States. And there's a couple hundred people. You know, I'm encouraging you to join the society. It's you know, 30, 35 bucks a year or whatever it is. You can join on the link that's linked in my description. I've got their website linked there and you can um, sign up to be part of the Southern Lepsock. And um, guys, let's get to the half blind Sphinx and I'll show you everything I know about this little tropical beauty. Okay, folks, I have right here a pair of the half blind Sphinx, Paragonia Lusca. And it is a probably a smaller sized Sphinx moth. And it's, you know, it's got this, this yellow band on the hind wing. But other than that, it's a pretty drab moth. But when they are fresh, you can see it in this female a little bit. You can see some iridescent purple going on in the forewings. And, you know, the, the female, look how much bigger the abdomen is on the female than the male. I mean, she's, she's loaded with eggs, right? Um, very similar in size to the Sagra Sphinx. They feed on the same host plant. They feed actually feed on rough velvet seed um, and same host plant and their caterpillars look very similar. In fact, the caterpillars are almost impossible to tell apart. So they're, they're pre these species right here are very closely related, but the half blind sphinx is the species that we are going to focus on right now. Um, wingspan is about an inch and a half to two inches, I'd say. And uh, when the male's wings are a little bit more elongated, a little bit more angled. And of course, the abdomen is uh, a lot smaller on the male. Uh, we have another similar species. This is called the mournful sphinx, obviously lacking that yellow, orangish yellow band on the hind wing. Uh, but this is another bug that is similar in size and color that you may confuse if you see it resting on a wall somewhere. You'd have to take a close look to tell these critters apart. Now, um, Half Blind Sphinx, let's go to our website. And I'll show you what we know about Paragonia Lusca. All right, Paragonia Lusca, guys, uh, Half Blind Sphinx. We have uh, only found this bug on the island of Key Largo. And rough velvet seed is the host plant. You know, we found it uh, in, in Key Largo. And the last time I was in Costa Rica, I found several of them. So I know that they live there. Um, it's not a very common moth. So it, the, the month distribution, we found them in March, May, and November. Not saying they don't live there in those other months, but we just haven't seen them. So uh, it's the species, we are calling this species uncommon in the in Key Largo. And it shows up at artificial lights. We've seen it, uh, we've seen it in black lights and black light traps and in at our mercury vapor traps. And uh, we also have seen them 
flying at flowers and like kind of like in a crepuscular sort of thing. We've actually seen them in December on the Christmas flower, the Eupatorium, or we used to call it Eupatorium, that goes into bloom in Key Largo between Christmas and New Year. So we've actually seen them at twilight hours on that thing. So I'm sure if you find the right nectar source, you may be able to find more specimens of the half-blind sphinx. And so uh, when they are fresh, this picture was taken with my with my flash on my camera, and you can see that there is an iridescent purple sheen that goes on on the uh, forewing. But for the most part, when you see them, they are going to be a brown, brown moth. Okay, and they, they always rest with their wings closed. They don't expose their yellow hind wings unless, um, unless they're agitated. The males have this little tuft on the end of the abdomen. I believe that's a sex tuft. And so they only expand that when they're, you know, doing uh, the whole male thing. So, uh, guys, we don't have a whole lot of information on the half-blind sphinx. Uh, they were reported to be common in Covell's book from back in whenever that was published. I forget when that was published. But uh, we have not seen this bug common at all. Uh, it's been actually a very rare occurrence or, or at least uncommon occurrence uh, in the Florida Keys. There's been a few episodes where we've seen, you know, maybe three or four of them in a, in a given night at our lights. But typically when we see them, it's just a one, one or two and uh, only in Key Largo and typically in the spring months. So that's about all we got for the Half Blind Sphinx. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video on the Half Blind Sphinx. It's a rare one. It's not easy to find, but they are present in South Florida and we get to experience them and enjoy them in the Florida Keys. So. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And check out our website, it's keysmoz.com, where we can show you everything you want to know about the butterfly, butterflies and moths of the Florida Keys and South Florida. So guys, take care and let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and the beauties therein. Take care now.